Here is Hulu, a student in his last year at Pocamino High School. He is from Dominique. Hello, Julio. How old are you? I am 18 years old. Next year you will be at university, won't you? Well, I hope that. What would you like to become in the future? I want to be a doctor, but it's a bit difficult because I know I need the high marks. How long have you been studying English? I think I've been studying English since I was six years old. Have you ever been abroad? Yes, I've been abroad four times, twice at Paris, two, once and at Andorra, and once at Denmark. You were one of, one of the children who, worked, who went to Denmark in October. Why did you want to have this experience? Because I always wanted to do uh, that kind of trip. How did you get the money to go there? My parents gave me the money for the trip and then I earn, I use my own money at the bank. How much worth the trip? I think that more or less were uh, 300 euros. Well, Julio, tell us about that lovely school trip. First, how long was the trip? Was it a direct trip? It's a bit long because we spent four hours by bus going to Madrid and it is a bit boring and tired. But then we spent two hours going by plane to Denmark and this was faster because all of us were sleeping. How long were you in Denmark? We stayed then there like uh, 70 or 8 days. When did you stay there? I stayed with a family who lived in a flat. What was your family to daddy family like? They are mm, two brothers and their parents, their parents. Did you get a close friend there? Yes, of course, my exchange friend that I stayed with him the whole week, but then I made other friends there. What kind of food did you eat in Denmark? Do you like it? It's a really strange food that is different than like here because they use a lot of species, but it was well, so. What did you usually do when you were there? In, at morning, we went to their high school to see how they learn and have classes. And then at the afternoon, we go with our teachers, sightseeing the city we stay, that is Elsino, and the village that are around there. What kind of activity did you do in your free time? Uh, sometimes we go out with our exchange friends to meet each other and spend time all together, but other times I go to with my family. We went to a museum and to see a film that was in English, so I improved. Could you tell us something typical about Dunma? Uh, is that me, they make parties at their high school at the, on Friday evenings, and this is a bit strange because here in Dunma, and of course that is the whole year cold. Even in summer. Point out some difference between the life there and in Spain. That in Denmark they never speak loudly and they have their street really clean. How do you improve your English? Do you practice a lot? Yes, of course, because I spend the whole week only speaking English because my exchange friend doesn't speak Spanish at all, so I have to improve it. Will you recommend this experience to other students, why or why not? Yes, of course, I recommend it because you improve your, your English or your language that you want to study and of course because you make friends all around the world. Would you imagine one of your friends got what to know? A bad thing of her was to do before going to Denmark. At first he had to speak with his family to know more each other and then he shouldn't be shy there. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye. Goodbye.